Hello, my awesome Pisces. Happy Friday to you. Happy weekend to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life. And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Pisces, what's popping? You feel so disconnected from your soulmate. Yeah, you still love them. But you feel alone. You feel disconnected from this relationship. As a matter of fact, you feel like you want to be alone, uh, away from everybody at this time. You feel like you need time to yourself to reflect, to go within. And we all need that, right? So there's nothing wrong with disconnecting from others for a little while to really reflect, to go within, yeah. I often do that in nature, yeah. I like to spend time in my garden, meditate, so connecting with nature is going to help you greatly, yeah. Just don't isolate yourself at home, spend time in nature. Yeah, you see, this is you reconnecting with higher power, beautiful. This is you feeling like you, find, you need to find balance again, yeah. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for my fabulous Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, <clears throat> you need time to yourself. Yeah, you do. Your energy is beautiful. Your back is turned towards your soulmate. So they, your soulmate that you've been dealing with, that you feel disconnected from, and your back is turned towards them, is showing up as king of wands, has been taking action towards you. So they either waiting to take action towards you or have been trying to contact you. But you're not interested right now. You feel turned off by their behavior. Your back is clearly turned towards them. Oh, you feel they owe you sincere apologies. Yeah. You feel you are alone. You feel you're not in a relationship with anyone at this time. So if someone were to ask you if you are in a relationship, romantic relationship at this particular time, <coughs> you would say no. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You know, please show us, you still love the person, but their behavior turned you off. Mm -hmm. You know, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for Pisces. But at the same time, you're not completely letting them go. It's like you are waiting for communication from them, but you're not ready to talk to them yet. Interesting. Yeah, you still love this person. It's okay. <clears throat> yeah, you remember the good times the two of you had shared? You are very connected with this person from past lifetimes. You are concentrating on your job. You're trying to distract your mind. Yeah, not to think of heartbreak. Somebody new is entering your life, though. Yeah, this combination shows me a new connection with somebody else. So remember, Pisces, that you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with, whether you want to give your soulmate a new beginning, if they prove themselves to you, of course, or be alone for a while, or a new soulmate. Um, so that's going to be up to you, Pisces. You are in charge 
of your life, in control of your actions. Let me see what's going on here. <clears throat> Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces. How is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, you are disappointed. You see, here's lovers with a snake underneath, a serpent. So you feel disconnected from the soulmate, even though you still love them. You feel like they betrayed you. <clears throat> yeah, this is you trying to be strong, courageous, figure out how to move on with your life. Yeah, you're still trying to heal from this relationship. <clears throat> you still love the soulmate. <clears throat> you are letting go of it's okay it's okay doesn't mean you have to be with them if you don't want to right let's see what's going on with that soulmate you're letting go of at this particular time universe please show us <clears throat> what is going on currently with that soulmate of pisces and how is pisces currently doing what's going on currently with that soulmate and how is that soulmate currently feeling towards Pisces, especially emotionally? What's going on with that soulmate that Pisces is letting go of? And how is that soulmate currently feeling, especially towards Pisces emotionally? <clears throat> Something is trying to hide from me over here. There it is, this one. They feel so unbalanced. Yeah, they feel so disoriented. So they realize they didn't put work into this relationship like you did. You see this? They realize. So that's a good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes, but that's a good sign that they realize the mistakes they've made. We all make them, every single person, including me, of course. We all make mistakes, but we do need to acknowledge them to work through them so we don't repeat them again, right? So the good thing is they see it, they acknowledge it, right? <clears throat> oh, they're so sad without you. This is them heartbroken. So this is very symbolic, this painting. So they feel that in the past, the two of you were in bliss together. Like it was a beautiful union that they wanted to last a lifetime. Here they're holding their cup of love for you. It's not broken, but it's empty. So this person is still in love with you, but not telling you or showing you. And your cup is broken. This is how they view your love for them. They feel you don't love them anymore. Therefore, you are letting them go. That's how they feel. Yeah. Even though you love them, they don't feel you do. Ooh, the worst card in the whole deck, three of swords. This person is absolutely devastated, heartbroken over losing you. Uh, but because they have their uh, hand uh, against their uh, mouth means they don't talk about it. They don't like to show that they are emotionally devastated, heartbroken. Yeah, they view you as walking away from them with great disappointment on your face. This person is absolutely heartbroken over losing you. I'm so sorry both of you are going through so much. Yeah, so they're trying to figure out what to do. They, they, they feel like they are at a crossroads. You see this? They know that if they even have a slight chance of convincing you to let them back into your life again, they cannot continue behaving the same way. You're not going to allow it. Let's see their subconscious position. Ooh, they in love. <laughs> this person is totally in love with you. But this is hidden love, unspoken love, unexpressed love. This person needs to learn how to communicate effectively and how to express emotions, how to listen, how to be trustworthy, dependable. They're holding two cups. So they're trying to figure out if they're imagining how you feel about them or if you truly still love them. They don't know. They have no clue right now. Universe, please show us. <clears throat> This was trying to hide from me. So this person doesn't want you to know right now that they're in love with you just like they were. But they really took you for granted when they had you. Yeah, they really took you for granted. They had to lose you to finally wake up and realize your worth value and how much you mean to them. Emotionally, especially. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces. 
Yeah, they're looking at the behavior more objectively now. Now that they lost you or feel like they're losing you in some aspects, they're looking at their life and their behavior more objectively. It's forcing them to look at their behavior and their contribution to this dissolution, breakup between you two. Yeah, you see, they have very hard time showing emotional vulnerability, communicating effectively, uh, expressing emotions, listening. That's going to have to change if they possibly want to return to you again and be trusted by you. They are very set in their ways. Yeah, very set in their ways. This person doesn't want to show how heartbroken they are but they are yeah this person is very set in their ways they are determined to uh, do something say something they're not able to let you go completely because they are still attached emotionally oh it's affecting their work negatively so they're trying to distract their mind from this heartbreak they feel through their job which they have passion for they're very good at it but it's affecting their work negatively. Yeah, this is really something they need to have to resolve. They in love with you. You see this? They're showing up twice asking of cups. This time with one cup. This person likes to hide behind this tough exterior. Like nothing bothers them, but that is just an act. Just a facade. This is how vulnerable they are emotionally. Very vulnerable emotionally. Yeah, they don't like to show that vulnerability. <sighs> They're trying to find a way to come back to you very slowly with an offer. They're still holding on to you. This person is still holding on to you for dear life. They can be materialistic at times, obsessed with things, money, possessions, good looks. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, they need to pay more attention to emotions, communication, feelings. Let's see. Universe, please show us. Yeah, you see, this is how they acted. That's why they lost you. My least favorite night of all nights, night of ones. Yeah. In and out of your life. In and out of your life. Yeah. Universe, please show us. They love you a lot, though. They really do. But they need to show that love, right? If they show that love, you would be with them, right? Oh, this person has a lot of emotional baggage that they need to address that have nothing to do with you. Look how much respect they have for you. View you as my favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open. They view you as intuitive, wise, yeah, strategic. That's the biggest wish right now, to reunite with you. But they need to earn that reunion. They can't just knock on your door and say, Pisces, I missed you. Uh, your trust, your respect has to be earned through solid actions that are consistent. Words are not going to win you over. Words are just words. Remember that old wise saying, which is extremely true. Um, Actions speak much louder than words, right? Yeah, we're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as Six of Cups with Page of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning on term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the Six of Cups, Page of Cups, energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so pisces click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys